astronomers have one of the most interesting jobs. Watching the sky and identifying the vast amounts of objects the universe has to offer. But sometimes an anomaly shows up that needs to be investigated further. One of these strange anomalies was spotted by amateur researchers on the asteroid Itakawa. Hayabusa was a robotic spacecraft developed by the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency and was created with the sole purpose of travelling to the near-Earth asteroid Itakawa. After flying through the cosmos for over two years and eventually landing on the asteroid in 2005, it started to take detailed photographs and carrying out scientific investigations. Interestingly, in some of these images, amateur researchers pointed out a large-looking object on the tip of the asteroid. What's odd is that this seems to have suddenly appeared as in previous photographs it wasn't there. Not many people have seen these photos, but those who have seen them have put forward some interesting explanations. Some can't understand how such a large object just suddenly appeared on the end of the asteroid, or there's some who have said that the object is causing somewhat of an illusion, and that the spherical object isn't actually a dome or an object protruding out of the asteroid, but is actually a crater, and was likely created by a piece of debris hitting it. Others though disagree with this and have said that on various asteroids you can see these strange objects. One believer said the following, It's frustrating that when you question these things you're looked at as being crazy. The truth is many of these asteroids show these types of anomalies protruding outwards. I'm not saying it's aliens but I think it should be investigated. End quote. As with the majority of these discoveries, not much information can be gathered from what this photograph shows, leaving amateur researchers to give their opinions on what they think the photograph is showing. NASA said the following about the mission on their website. The first mission to return a sample of material from the surface of a near-Earth object, the Japanese Hayabusa spacecraft which also carried a miniature lander named Minerva, was originally designed as a technology demonstration mission. One of the technologies it tested was an efficient iron propulsion system, which it used successfully during its two-year journey to asteroid Itakawa. On the 25th of September 2005, the Hayabusa spacecraft touched down on the surface of the asteroid Itakawa, marking only the second time in history that a spacecraft has descended to the surface of an asteroid. End quote. Amateur researchers have said this is just one in a long line of discoveries that have been made outside of our planet. One of the most interesting planets is that of Mars. With it being in our solar system and also being so close to us in terms of space, scientists have been carrying out various tests, and even sending advanced rovers and satellites to map the terrain. This has given scientists a much better understanding of its environment and what else happens here on a day-to-day -day basis. However, various photographs that have been sent back over the years have only caused more confusion about what's really going on, as various amateur researchers have suggested there could be life on Mars. Whilst NASA and other space agencies have made it clear about their stance of alien life on Mars, they've come forward and said that at this moment there is strong evidence to suggest that water is on Mars, and that this is through the discoveries of hydrated salts and ice sheets. However, water in liquid form is yet to be discovered or confirmed. A lot of evidence and research points to the existence of water on Mars, such as the findings of the European Mars Express. This craft using an advanced radar system known as Mars's, found that Mars's south pole holds a subsurface anomaly that strongly suggests that an entire lake, thought to be around 12.4 miles or 20 kilometers across and at least one meter deep is underneath the pole. Very recent evidence has found that there is certain places on Mars which could potentially hold liquid water given the perfect conditions. The reason that ice water is plentiful on Mars but currently there's no evidence of liquid water is because Mars' atmosphere is incredibly thin. So as soon as any ice would melt it would immediately turn to vapor. Back in 2000, someone discovered something strange in a photograph sent back from Mars. The photograph in question has since become known as the Tower, and is used by people as proof that there are or once were beings living on the Red Planet. 
at the time when the images was public. Many people downloaded it and conducted various tests to try and find out more. What they discovered was this object was massive. Not only that, but it was very consistent with buildings we see here on Earth. This caused some to suggest that what we're looking at is some type of massive building. Those who have carried out measuring techniques suggested that it measures 3.9 miles or 6.3 kilometers. This only caused more confusion as how could such a massive skyscraper-like object form naturally. To further back up this claim, those who discovered the object point to the massive shadow that can be seen being casted behind it, proving that whatever this is is big enough to cause a shadow. It's important to note as well that this photograph was taken by the Mars Orbiter Surveyor. This was launched on the 7th of November 1966. It had taken years to build this incredible piece of equipment, but it's noted by NASA as being the first successful mission to the Red Planet in over 20 years. The Orbiter finally reached the Red Planet back in March of 1999, where it would go on to map the terrain from low altitude. Since this date it sent back thousands of images, interestingly many of which haven't been studied by researchers or scientists, and which some say do hide interesting anomalies that could help us to understand the planet's environment. This early surveyor was able to tell scientists a lot about Mars's surface, environment, atmosphere and interior. The camera that was on the Mars orbiter was able to send back some incredible images that would help us to understand how we would approach the planet in the future when it came to missions. So what do you make of this interesting photograph sent back from the high abuser? Do you think this object belongs to something mysterious? Or is it just a natural formation created by pieces of space debris? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.